2K has secretly changed skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Bait fam! First and foremost, glory to God. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to do what we love to do. Today, we're talking about patch 1.05 and how it secretly was used to try to address the skill-based matchmaking in 2K25. Now, you know when 2K try to fix things, it's either far left or they can't fix it at all. And according to this latest update, there is no more skill-based matchmaking in the game. Now, you are playing against whoever and whatever. You may play against somebody who's a gold rank, a red rank, a silver rank, a black rank. It is no logic to the skill-based matchmaking in all modes, not just in the proven ground, in all modes. In proven ground now, it's actually penalizing people who are higher rank because now they're playing against lower tier rank and they drop a tier by losing against lower tier ranks. And they don't gain that much by beating them. I don't understand it, but here's my thing. I don't care if you want to change or fix or address anything in your game. It's your game. You got a right to do whatever you want to do. All I'm asking for is transparency in the game, man. Transparency. Let us know you're trying to attempt something. Don't make us get on the game and then don't know that you fixed it or tried to address it. And now we playing the game where it's like, is it broken? Did the patch do this? It's just the transparency with 2K, man. And, and it just makes me believe that these patches are actually touching more things than we think they are. They're just not letting us know what they're tweaking. And that's not cool, dog. That's not cool at all. Because you're spending money. If this game was free, we can't complain. But if we're spending our own precious dollars, dog, to play a product and the company is not being transparent about the product and the changes that they're making and implementing to the game and they're having their consumers to kind of guess and, and be like, infer like maybe that it's changed or maybe it's not. It's not cool at all, dog. And, and that's my biggest gripe. I don't give a dang. If you want to try to fix it, then fix it. If you want to try to address it, then address it. But say something about it. God darn it. Like, why do y'all keep trying to do this subliminal? We didn't touch nothing, but you did touch something. Like, what are we talking about here, man? This ain't even cool. I don't understand, man. I know they touching other stuff. They're just not letting us know what they're touching. And they're trying to do it so it can be low-key and discreet. But at the end of the day, people play your game, your game too much to know that y'all 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 touching stuff, man. Y'all touching stuff. And I don't know if this is a good fix at all. All we wanted was non-scale based matchmaking in the park, in the theater, in the rec, and any other mode that is not ranked. But for Pro Am and Proven Ground, maybe this is their way of doing it until they can fix it. I don't know, man. I don't know with 2K. You just got to get on and try to figure it out and have the best time you can as possible. Um, you know, and that's just it. Um, but I know a lot of people mad. I saw Double H. He was upset. I wasn't tripping because it is what it is. I was in the theater. I wasn't in Proven Ground. But if I'm in Proven Ground, I want to rank up. I definitely want to play against higher tier ranks and give me a high a, a opportunity to rank up faster now for, for people like myself. But it sucks for people that are ranked high because if they lose, they lose a lot more than they do when they win. So I don't know what's going on with 2K. At the end of the day, man, I'm still trying to figure out the damn inconsistencies of shooting, man. I, I I don't know what it is. I don't know what shooting is. Somebody made a really, really great point, and then I'm going to leave on this note, is, bro, we ain't trying to be no NBA players. We're trying to play a video game. And too many people want a video game to be real life. And at the end of the day, my dude mechanic said it best. It's a video game. It's fantasy. It's not meant to be real life. It's meant to simulate some form of real life, but at the end of the day, it's a video game. A video game is supposed to be meant to compete and have fun. You get on here and compete and have fun. Win and lose regardless, you competing to have fun and, and, and to just enjoy the experience. 
I don't know why we continue to try to nerf that experience because you don't want people to shoot a certain percentage. At the end of the day, people are still cheating. There are a lot of people got Zins, dog. I'm telling you right now, there are a lot of people that got Zins. The way, the inconsistency of the shooting, and I know people with like, well, maybe is a lot of people X button with low shooting overalls, and they out here chicken, like, I mean, fading. I mean, fading. I didn't play it against a few of them. Straight automatic green scripts. I, I, I've i seen it. I researched it, and I played against them because I was like, bro, something ain't right, dog. I know I'm struggling, but goddamn, this nigga's making lightly pressured, tight coverage. And, and it's like, if, if, if that's what we're going to be playing against, then give us the same opportunity to be able to have a, to, a chance to, to, to shoot consistent, consistently like that, man. Because it's some people cheating in this game, bro. And it is what it is. The scripts are out. And people are paying that $200. And it is what it is. If that's what they want to do, that's their choice. It's, it, it, it's hey, whatever you, how you spend your money, how you spend your money. But at the end of the day, man, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to just get on and do y'all defensive tutorials for y'all boys. Because I want to say this and then I'm out. The defense in NBA 2K25 is super easy. Like, if you can't play defense this year, you trash. Like, seriously. And I don't mean in, like, reality. I'm just, you're, you're not good at the game. Because the defense in 2K25 is the easiest it's ever been. Ever been. It's it's so easy to play defense in this game that you don't even have to use a lot of skill in this game to play defense. I'm keeping it in the stack. The way they got the body ups and the magnetization of the body ups in this game is super easy for you to play. So if you suck at defense, bruh, it's, it's on you this time because defense has been watered down and has been made simplified where you can have Timmy with two thumbs and you can come out there and play some elite defense because the magnetization of the game in this game is crazy. I've had builds with no defense on there and I'm still able to get body ups with no strength or anything like that. I'm still able to get some stops and all that stuff because the magnetization of this game. I don't know what it is, but there's a very, very strong magnetization when it comes to defense. And, it, and it's and it's it is what it is. But anyway, I don't want to rant today. It's Friday. It's a beautiful day. I woke up this morning. So let's make it great. Live life stress less. You're rocking one of the best. Without God, my life would be a mess. Always remember to have faith, hope, and love. Let me know in the comments what's your thoughts on the skill-based matchmaking patch. Is it good? Is it bad? Do you like it? What's up? I'm just, I just want transparency. That's it. I just want transparency. Just give me transparency. I'm good.